So we made it to the Mill Mountain Star. Here's the rest area. Let's take a look and see where we are on the map. A little bit of a drop, but we are here. on a few things that they offer and also let you know about the surrounding attractions like the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's a beautiful place in the spring and the fall. Definitely need to check that out if you haven't. Um, it goes across four or five states I believe is what it is. Uh, so starting with the view on how you know how we got up there um, the view getting up there was real nice uh, of course you start out in the city setting and then you start to creep up into the mountains and then you're surrounded by trees um, you get an amazing view about halfway up off to the left which we weren't able to get pictures of um, maybe in the fall we can revisit that when all the leaves are off the trees. Um, there are several things that you see along the way other than the wood of nature. Um, about uh, halfway there, uh, we saw some uh, really gigantic bicycles that a local artist, I'm assuming, has made. Um, that's right at the entrance to go up into the Mill Mountain area. Um, as you make your way up, there's, there's a visiting center uh, not too far from the entrance. Um, it is gated, so they do close it from time to time, especially during inclement weather, like during winter. Um, you know, if it's raining a lot, I believe they close temporarily. Um, so once you get up in there, you can, you can go to the visiting center. Um, they definitely have a lot of information there. Uh, as you start to go up, there's a exit to where you can get off and go to the picnic area where you and your family can picnic, enjoy the surroundings and the views. Um, they do have rest areas 
um, with bathrooms and things like that. So that's always a convenience thing. Uh, and if you keep going up, you'll pass the zoo, which is up on the left just before you get to the uh, parking lot for the observatory. Uh, now the zoo is closed during winter, uh, just because obviously at that altitude, it's too cold for the animals. Um, but they do have some amazing things there. Uh, and then when you get up to the observatory, it's a small parking lot, it has a roundabout, so you, when you pull out, you can just take a UE and head back down the mountain. But once you get up there, there's a trail right off of the observatory. Um, you can actually see the back of the star from the observatory parking lot. Uh, there is another rest area in the, at the parking lot of the observatory. So there are several placards, as you saw in the video, that give a little bit of insight. Um, there's a map that's not too far from the parking lot that shows where you are, the generalized attractions around that area, probably within um, uh, a short radius. And then you've got um, the path down to the observatory for the stars. So once you get down to the observatory, you can see miles in either direction going all the way over into Salem and beyond. You can see Catawba Mountain, which I think I, I showed the, the mountains in the background in one of the videos. Um, there are some placards there as well. Uh, and then if you do, were to do a 180 and look behind you, there's a, some seating area there, but there's also the gigantic star. And just looking up at it, it's just like, I'm so tiny compared to that. But it looks amazing when it's lit up from a distance from like downtown Roanoke, which is not too far away from there. Um, right now it's lit up white during the 4th of July, which will be coming up here in a couple of weeks, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, it will be red, white, and blue. Uh, there are occasions, uh, special occasions, should I say, that the star will either turn red or blue. Um, sometimes it's just white and blue. I've seen it red and blue. Uh, there have been occasions where they just shut it off at night in observance of whatever's going on. Um, but right there at the observatory, there are a couple other trails you can go down and see the views and take in the the sights. Um, it's one of those things where you just have to see it to believe it. And um, definitely a must check out. So if you like this video, and thought it was great content, leave a comment below, let us know, so we know what future videos you guys want to see. Um, as you can tell, we're kind of all over the place right now, we're trying to find what you guys like. So definitely leave a comment in the uh, uh, below there, and uh, like the video, that lets us know that you also like the content that we're putting out. Uh, subscribe. That way you're uh, you're in the know. It'll show up in your feed. Also hit that bell. Otherwise, how are you going to know when we upload a good video you might like? And with that being said, we will see you on the next great adventure. We hope you all have a great night or day, depending on where you are. Talk to you soon.